hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to show you guys how to make some rice and peas and here i have some coconut milk salt some jamaican seasoning and i have onion no i don't really have much as you can see and usually when you're making rice and peas you need some more stuff but i'm gonna work with what i have and i'm going to show you guys how to cook rice and peas in crock pot so i already washed the peas and i'm going to add it to my crock pot um at this point you can either add the water before or you can add the peas but i decided to add the peas first with some of the seasoning which is the scallion otherwise known as green onion and i have like the actual onion with garlic so right now i'm just adding some water um about the i think i'm gonna add around three i think it's three i don't remember i wasn't even counting usually i don't like i just usually eyeball stuff like i don't measure anything so as you can see i think i dump around three cups yeah three cups of water or maybe <laughs> maybe ten <laughs> anywho so So I forgot to mention to you guys, I added some of the seasoning um, that I purchased from Jamaica. Um, it was in a bag, uh, one bag, this Ziploc bag. So I just like divide them up into um, different type of Ziploc bags. And yeah, so I'm telling you guys, these seasonings so good, full of flavor. Um, I don't even know the different type. I think it's chicken, meat, fish, everything. But I use it for, it's like pretty much all purpose. And I think I have an all purpose seasoning in it as well. But I'm telling you, I brought up around 15 bags and I'm only left with four. I gave away some. But I'm telling you guys, oh, I live for these seasoning. Next time I visit Jamaica, I'm definitely going to get more. Um, yeah. So that's it i'm gonna show you guys oh yeah so here's a stick of butter um i forgot to add that and so i have the coconut milk that i'm going to show you guys like when to put it in um well obviously after the peas is soft then we'll add the coconut milk i have this cock cock um seasoning <laughs> sorry that's what it's actually called yeah so i have this um that we usually use to make soup but i don't think i'm going to put it in the rice and peas you can but if you're going to use cock soup i would say kind of sieve the noodles out because it has some little noodles in it so you're going to remove the noodles and then you can add the powder but i think i'm going to leave this one out um i'm not going to use this one right now oh my god i wish you guys could smell this Ooh, it smells so good. Okay, let me pop it open. This is what you call pop up pot up bubble. Um okay, so I think I need to add some more water. Let me show you guys. See? Do you see how um the texture of this piece? That means it needs to boil some more. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. Why no, I really need <laughs> I need to get a tripod. I say that all the time. Yeah. Still need some more water. Need some more water and it needs to boil some more. Oh my god, it smells so good. So this is what I was talking about. You see the steam coming out? Yeah. So all you have to do easy pop open. Ooh, and this thing i need to fix it but that smell good by the look of it i think still need to get soft a bit let me see all right no actually no i can i'm gonna try a little bit i'll just use one okay I'm gonna show one and make one of 
still have a little crunch to it but just want one okay then you press down on it see if it's not too bad so at this point i can mix my milk powder and then i'll show you guys okay so i wanted to show you guys what the milk powder look like it won't look like this thing in a jamaica called lasco well, I mean, I like it hard to, to manage. Okay, so you got the point. So it's this milk powder. And I'm going to add some water. I have some chicken in this. But I'm going to add some water from here. Then add it to the milk mixture. Mix it up. And then add it to it. And then I'll show you guys. It's a bit too much. But I like my rice and peas thick. So you have an idea. So right now, I need a big spoon. Or even a cup. Let me see, just to give you guys an idea. Well, oh, this is a lot of work. <laughs> but it's okay, I love it, it's fun. So, may I skim off some of the water? This is how you cook with a crop pot. Skim off some, it's okay if little peas go in it. So, the water is hot, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to slowly mix it because the bowl is not too big. So I'm going to slowly mix it, get out some of the lump. And if you don't even get out some of the lump, that's okay. Everything I'm going to mash out. Yep. Trying my best to upload. At first I said once a week, but then I find myself like uploading like, um, one video after the next. I think I've only done that once. But nevertheless... I'm going to try to give you guys like videos. So I'm going to make sure drain out everything. All that flavor got to waste? Hell no. So yeah, after you add the coconut milk. Oh, okay. So all these little things are the onion that I added to it. All right. So you just mix it. You see all the color change already? To a nice creamy. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wash my rice. At this point, you can take out the scallion or you can leave it in. I'm going to wash the rice. And how many cups of rice I think I need? Maybe around four. Let me show you. Maybe around four of these. Okay, so I'm washing some rice. It's not too much. I think it's around four or five cups. No, around four cups of rice. Yeah, you don't need too much. Let me see your hand can swell rice. So right about now, I want it to swell it up. Oh, yeah, the pot a bubble, guys. The pot really a bubble. See, oh, it's a froth. Yeah. Oh, that's a rice. So, you add it. Add. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so after you add the rice, you see how it looks already? It's so creamy and nice. Remember, guys, I'm cooking rice and peas in crock pot. It's possible... So, um, this is what it looks like. It's not finished, but I heard the thing beeping and I just unplug it. Now, you can see the rice is a bit wet. So, I added, now I'm adding a little piece of foil paper to steam it. And I'm going to cover it up back. Then plug the pot in and let it do its job plug it back in but this time i don't think i'm going to put it on um what we did have it pan again beans i'm not going to put it on beans i'm going to put it on simmer yeah and then turn it down a little bit i think that's the timer and then proceed so i'm going to let it steam and it okay guys so what i did i unplugged the the crock pot but i left the, the thing on it the file paper on it and let it go and steam <laughs> talk to me now look for rice and peas i'm gonna fluff it up a bit it still can steam some more but guys look at that look at the rich color and the flavor is amazing talk about my rice and peas no it look good, though. Yeah, this look good. 